Welcome back everybody to another package opening. Today I've got this giant box here that's been waiting to be opened up. It's got a bunch of Go Go's Crazy Bones in it. A lot of new gen, some classics, some mutants. We're gonna go through it all, but there should be like about 400 Go Go's in here, which is awesome and insane. So I'm gonna do the best I can sorting these out and get them all set up for you guys to check out with me. So let's crack into this thing and see what we got in this one. This is one of those lots that you can't really verify everything in the package when it's 400 Go Go's and the picture is just a massive mound of things in a lot go goes in a lot so i only have a vague idea of what we can be expecting in here and this box was just packaged so haphazardly it's like ridiculous all right we got it open here to a degree the box is just falling apart some good padding in here and we got one bag of Go-Go's and two bags of Go-Go's and also a third bag of Go-Go's. Now that's a lot of crazy bones. Wow, there's a ton here. Holy crap. Now things I'm going to be definitely looking for, like I said, new gen. Uh, so I'm hoping we get a nice like evil eggy or something. I have yet to find an evil eggy in any of the lots and things that I've opened. So I'd like to find him and maybe a couple other cool things. Just an absolute ton, a ton of these things. Probably like I don't know, maybe like 150 in each bag. Let's get to sorting these guys. Some of these are not in the best of shape, as you can see here. This is one from Buddies, and it is roughed up like crazy. We also have some giant ones here, some mega monster dudes, which is sweet. This looks like a glow in the dark one. I guess I'll get those out of the way really quick. We got the stupid popcorn kernel guy, which I'm not a fan of, but this guy's awesome looking, really sharp. That face looks super good. Who else we got? We got this goofy little professor man. He's always weird. He's not in the best condition. And we got our little eggy. We did get a nice eggy. So that's a good one to get. We also got a Pokemon. All right. We got Gengar over here just chilling in the the bag so that's funny not a go-go oh we got a better condition of our little professor guy i gotta get his name because i can't remember i did see a couple of the mcdonald ones in here so there's this guy in a nice orange and we got our little i don't know he looks like an ice cream sundae monster is what i like it looks like his eyes like a cherry and then he's sitting in a bowl of ice cream oh and this one is really weird i don't recognize this one how bizarre i know it's one of the the megas but it's uh, an interesting design, huh? Another glow in the dark, and he's a good one. He's got like a little scar on his head and then the eyes, very nice. It's almost one of those ones that could possibly, nah, not quite. Sometimes you can flip them upside down and it looks just as good, but this is a pretty sweet one too. I am spotting aliens in here. I'm spotting, we got a nice little metal gold one, a precious metal, but that is coming off quite a bit. All right, I dumped out another bag. Here's another eggy, another one of these. This blocky big-eyed boy, our weird, creepy, derpy dude. I can't, can't ever remember his name, but he's funny. And we just got a bunch of him in one of the last openings. Seeing some more medals, that's nice. Here's another one of these dudes. Again, the really cool, like, slime monster. And we gotta jump out our last bag here. My camera zoomed all the way out and it's just taking up my entire table. It's ridiculous how many are in here. So once again, I'm going to try to go sort. I think I see things from like even like series one is in here, which is funny. So I'm going to sort these the best I can and then we'll start checking them out completely. Ooh, what is that? Is that Whistler? Ooh. All right, we're all sorted up and ready to go. Here are all the mutants that we got from the lot. Uh, nothing too crazy with these. Of course, it's just mutants. A couple notable ones would be like we got a nice little jaws whistler which is pretty sweet i like it it's a clean one in that nice white and then we got a couple nice metals a very clean one of frankie here and we got i forget her name again but yeah really really sharp ones and in good condition which is saying something because some of these other bones in this lot are uh, in rough shape and you know what honestly we got a good even amount of most of the sets and series like nothing was like overpowering the other so it's i think they'll all be kind of around the same at this point obviously things i think we have a few more of but that's all right but let's go into the next one here's all our ones from the sports series again nothing too wild here i'm not the biggest fan of sports anyway so these are just whatever for me we did get like one of these i believe it's just one of these more old school sport ones i think it was from a different region i want to say Say. I don't recognize it as being part of the one I'm most familiar with and where most of these are from. So I'll have to look that one up. This one as well might be from that, but we'll see. There's nothing else going on. A couple, you know, glitters, a couple nice uh, glow in the darks. 
a couple nice of these little cool pearl ones, these green pearls, which I'm a fan of. But past that, I think we can move on. All right, here are all our things. And yeah, I'm not sorting these out and lining them up because there's a bunch of them. And, you know, it's, it's things. I don't really care that much about the things ones. You know, it's the ones we all know and love or hate or don't care about, which I don't really couple other good notable pearl ones I guess you could look at. Here's another little metal, very sharp, good clean one. But you know, because we got so many of the things, it does mean that we got some aliens in this lot. And there we go. They opened up enough things to actually find a few aliens, which is nice. So we got this nice sharp yellow one. These are all pretty nicely painted too, which is sweet. This one's clean. I like that black on yellow look as well. We got a nice jelly one sharp on the hair the eyes aren't too scuffed up and we got the nice two monsters which i think i have both of these i'd have to check on this red one but i'm pretty sure i have both these these are pretty common to find in the red and the blue and then we also got one singular piccolo dragon ball z go go just one of them which is funny and it looks like his ear is like snapped off a little bit it looks like it cracked off uh, so it's not that great condition, but I just thought it was funny that there's only one in here. We got buddies now, and there are a little bit less of the buddies than the other series, which is fine. Uh, it's not my main goal to collect buddies, but I do like picking them up when they come in lots like this. Couple interesting ones. We got a nice pearl, little slithery snake. And let's see, who else we got here? We did get a little Sharky Jaws guy. We got this guy, which is almost like a gooey, because, or it looks like a whistler, but he has actually like two holes in him and like concaved in the teeth. I don't believe that's how he's supposed to be, so I find this one pretty cool as a little manufacturer error. And speaking of manufacturer errors, we actually do have this guy, which looks in pretty clean shape, but he's actually got some sort of disease on him. He's got a giant bulbous bulge on his back just hanging out, which is very odd. I don't normally see him like that. It's actually pushing up on the little stamp. Very weird, very weird. But kind of interesting, kind of cool. And it's a clean figure other than whatever the hell is going on with his little back muscle poor thingy. I don't know. Got some kind of cancer thing going on, I guess. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. And a few of these are pretty scuffed up too, like our little pirate dudes here. And this guy, which, man, it just looks like some of these guys were just scraped on cement for a long time. You know, good use out of these guys. Obviously, the previous owner had had their share fair share had their fair share of fun with most of these guys is what i'm trying to say but let's move on now we did find a few from the modern series so we got some right here from series one and then we got looks like one from series two or is that series three as well a couple from series three maybe some series four i can't remember which characters are from which between three and four but a good little chunk looks like they opened up a pack of like one of series one and one of series three or something like that so nothing too crazy no most wanted or anything like that but they were just thrown in here onto the classic series and we've got a decent chunk of them here some nice ones we got a few nice looking metals check those out pretty nice looking i'm a fan of this one it's pretty clean as well that one is like a different shade almost it's interesting and then we got this guy right here and he is like very very shiny i don't know it looks like extra glittery almost and i already showed you the gold one check out this beat to hell jaws oh my gosh what on earth that one's just insane so is this one too this one was just used it looks like they just rubbed it just rubbed it on concrete it's just completely worn off even on the back i mean look at that right that's crazy i haven't seen that much damage on a go-go before i'm sure it's not too uncommon but uh personally i don't really have any that are in that bad of shape in my collection up until now the rest are fine though they're not all beat up we've got this like really nice kind of pinkish i don't know opaque one this opaque jelly which is neat and we did actually get one singular eggy a very sharp looking gold glitter opaque white one really really sharp and uh i can't i don't think i have him yet but i think i actually do have him in another package that's coming in the mail but it's fine it's a nice glitter eggy so that's a good score and finally all our new gen hits which i feel like i did pretty darn well i don't have a lot of these guys i mean some i have plenty of we got a lot of little mr 
eggy ghost here, ghost eggy, which is fine. I mean, I've got a bunch, but I'm not going to complain about the ghost eggies. We got a few scattered throughout. Oh yeah, there's this purple one too. That one looks really sharp. I love that purple. Overall though, a ton of the monsters that I just do not have. I mean, this guy, that's super cool. I don't know his name, but he's a dope one. We got a few different ones of Sinister here and a few colors that I don't have, so I'll take that. Another one over here. We got a very, very sharp black pumpkin one, which is really crisp. I like it a lot. I don't have a lot of just the plain black ones. This guy almost looks like he could be glow in the dark or he's just a pearl but it's a really sharp, opaque white, and it's really neat. I like his figure a lot, too. We actually got two of him. Ah, yes, here's the other one. There we go. And a nice a dark green, but a cool, like, octopus, big-headed creature. We did get a Jaws ghost. Let's go. I was missing this one. I have had uh, King. Where is King? King Sharky. I've gotten King Sharky before, but I haven't gotten this one, so I was missing him. Thank goodness we got we got one good one here because you know what uh, we didn't get a, an evil eggy yet unfortunately I just keep missing them I don't know what's going on uh, it's a bummer but you know oh this one cracked me up because I got this one in one of my last lots but it's way bigger it's like it's like one of these other bigger modeled ones from new gen which I always found the size difference thing to be really weird it just depended on when it was printed or where it was you know made and they just flip-flop sizes on so many of these guys it's crazy some of the ghosts and stuff too i have bigger ones smaller ones it's really interesting i got this guy i think it's punky or funky punky but uh, i had a whistler before he's not a whistler but i've seen it before like the whistler on this one always gets a little dent right in his head it's funny what are some other good ones i can show you this guy's pretty cool i'm just showing you all the cool purple jellies but i mean that's just my vibe completely here's another one very sharp vampire one. Oh, here he is again but just in a normal color there you go and these guys are all in pretty good shape none of these are like overly damaged or anything like some of the other ones we've seen today thank goodness that guy's crazy he's so cool i love looking at the designs of new gen they're just they're so unique and so interesting the design team on it just did a killer job i think look at this guy like come on that is just sick looking i love the look of that this one's pretty cool it's a nice crisp like light purple but it's really sharp i love the design of that one too oh yeah this one this one's just a big chunk it's so funny but another black one and it just looks really really neat i like this one in the black it's got a I don't know what kind of vibe is it's given like eggy vibes almost just because it's like at that round like oval shape but he's a neat one these small squatty ones crack me up too man these are funny i've gotten this one i got him in like a royal blue i think and then we got this guy yes yeah, so i want to show off this one this one's really sick one of those nice green purple shiny toothpaste not toothpaste i don't know how to describe it but is this qualified as toothpaste? I'm not sure, but it looks really nice. I can't believe we didn't get another Evil Eggy, man. Missed it again. It's so funny. No one ever sells the Evil Eggies. I've seen like two people sell it and they were like from overseas and it was really expensive to actually try to get it. But yeah, in these lots and stuff, you're just taking a chance. Obviously, I still wanted the rest of these figures, so I'm not crying over it. You know, it's okay. I'm fine. But I really want to get my hands on one of those guys. It's crazy that I keep just missing them he must have been pretty darn rare if anybody grew up with the new gen era and got these packs a lot because i didn't get like any new gen growing up but if anybody else did let me know was evil eggy just that hard to get was he just the big rare that you just couldn't find ever that's what it feels like to me because it feels like no one ever gets them or they're holding on to them or something it's crazy look at this dude he's got his like hands out in front of him like that that's so funny. All right, I'm done. I think I showed you guys all of them, at least the nice noteworthy ones. So this lot was pretty good though. I can't wait to put all these in the nice storage. I'm going to have to add more storage for the new gen because I think I'll be running out with this big lot here. These guys take up so much space because of how massive they are. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoy the Crazy Bones content, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below with what your favorite figure was from this lot. And stay tuned for more Go-Go's coming up. We're opening up a bunch of stuff from the wall here very soon. Until then, we will see you guys in the next video.